G'day there and welcome to Tim's Board Game Review episode 16. In this episode I'll be reviewing a game that I've invented and you can own it for free as it's a print and play game. Uh, the game is called Lemonade Stall and uh, it's based on a simple little computer game that I used to play as a kid where you buy supplies to uh, make lemonade and then try and make as much profit as possible based on the weather forecast. Now unlike the computer game which is only a solo game my adaptation is for two to four players and basically you are competing, competing against the other players who are also running their own lemonade stalls. Um, the person who ends up with the most money at the end of the week wins the game. So let's see what you get if you download and print off the files. You get a set of rules, a stock inventory sheets for keeping track of how much stock you have, individual player aids that tell you how much things cost and what the maximum demand you will get for your lemonade based on the weather and your asking price. An overall game aid that is referred to at various times during each day of the game. A Monday to Sunday strip which is used for keeping progress of the game which takes place over seven days and it's also used for placing the weather forecast tokens onto. Weather forecast tokens for rain, cloudy or sunny weather Weather temperature tokens ranging from 15 degrees up to 35 degrees Celsius. A first player token. Player benefit cards that players can take to receive certain benefits during the game. Event cards that contain both good and bad events that occur during the game. Selling price cards between $3 and $9 a cup. Two, three and four player maximum sales charts which indicate the maximum amount of sales that the players as a whole will receive depending on the actual weather conditions. For those of you who aren't good at simple maths, there is also an income matrix to work out how much money each player gets from their sales. This is basically what the game would look like set up for a four player game. On top of what you can print and play, I also recommend you use money in one, five, ten and twenty dollar denominations and cubes or counters of two different types for one and five units of stock. You'll also need a 12 sided dice or two six sided dice of different colours or sizes to be able to tell them apart. If you don't have the recommended optional pieces there are some optional components that can be printed and used instead except for the dice. The game of Lemonade Stall takes place over 7 days from Monday to Sunday. The forecast for Monday is always 25 degrees and cloudy and each player starts with $20. Each day of play takes place over 11 short steps. I'll briefly go through these steps. In the first step the weather forecast for the next day is determined by rolling dice and checking the overall player raid. The relevant tokens are then placed onto tomorrow's space on the Monday to Sunday time track. Step 2 involves people choosing benefit cards starting with the first player. The benefit cards might do things such as allow you to buy stock cheaply or get higher profits from selling stock. The benefit cards that aren't chosen have a single supply token placed onto them which are taken by a player in future rounds if they choose that benefit card. Step 4 is where the top event card is turned over. Some events are good, such as receiving generous tips, and others are bad, such as ants getting into your sugar supply. In step 5, players take turns in purchasing stock from the supply, starting with the first player. Bulk purchases of stock are cheaper to buy than smaller amounts. In step 6, players will then simultaneously reveal their selling prices. The price you will set will typically depend on both the weather forecast and also the risk that if your price is too high, or higher than all your competitors, their lemonade will sell before yours does and therefore you might end up selling very few cups of lemonade. Once the prices have been set, the event card that was turned over in step 4 is referred to. It gives an indication of how the weather may change between the forecast temperature and the actual weather forecast. In this example, a change of both the weather condition and temperature is made. As 3 is added to each of the rolls, there is a good chance that the weather may improve and sales will go up. Whereas in this example, a change for temperature is made with a good chance that it may become cooler. 
However, the weather condition will remain unchanged as it is not mentioned at the bottom of the card. Once the check for any weather change has been made, the lemonade gets sold. Essentially, the person who sells their lemonade for the cheapest price sells their lemonade first, but for the least profit. However, in cloudy weather, you are still guaranteed to sell at least one cup and two cups of lemonade in sunny weather. Players then have to remove the appropriate amount of stock from their stock inventory sheets and receive cash from the bank. Each cup of lemonade will require one cup, one lemon, one unit of sugar and one unit of ice. Any ice not sold melts and is removed from the inventory sheets. In step 9, a check is made to see if any lemons get spoiled. This is made by rolling a dice and the hotter the temperature, the higher the chance of spoilage. If no one chooses the first player benefit card, the first player token is now moved one person to the left. The final step is to remove the temperature tokens from the Monday to Sunday time track and repeat the previous 10 steps another 6 times. At the end of Sunday, the player with the most money is the winner. So here are my ratings for this game. The components, well, I designed them myself so I can only really give them a 5 out of 10. But as it'll only cost you a few sheets of paper or cardstock and some ink, it's pretty good value for money and perfectly functional. The luck factor is probably low to medium, uh, you can be unlucky with weather changes which can sort of stuff you around a bit and the blind price bidding can sometimes work against you if everyone else undercuts your price. Fun factor I'd say medium, uh, the, probably the most fun in the game is around the blind price bidding and trying to work out your opponent what your opponents will be bidding. There's also some anticipation as you turn over the event card each round and hopefully seeing lots of cash roll in during hot weather is quite satisfying. Uh, rate the complexity is medium. Uh, there's a few things to get your head around with to start with, but otherwise the game's quite straightforward. Uh, depth, I would say, is medium. There are a few different strategies that can be used to optimise your earnings. Replayability would be medium to high. I still enjoy playing it and the game can vary quite a lot depending on the different weather forecasts and how profit hungry your opponents are when setting their prices. I can't really give my own game a rating, could I? So I'll leave that up to my wife. Yes, dear, I promise to go shoe shopping with you all day tomorrow. I give this game a 9 out of 10. Is that all you wanted, darling? Thanks for that, dear. So I really would encourage you to log on to boardgamegeek.com, search for Lemonade Stall, and download and print and play my game. Um, I'd also consider this game to be a, an open source game, if you like. So if you have any good rules suggestions or can improve the graphics, please be in touch by sending me a geek mail to Curves to 76 uh, and I'll certainly acknowledge your contribution. Um, I'd also like to thank the playtesters who have helped me get the game to where it is today. And uh, look, I really do hope you enjoy playing this game. So until next time, see you later.